Minus 30 with the wind this morning. And I've got a specific test I've been waiting to do with the PHEV. All right, so I've had somebody ask me online if uh, the car regenerates less power in the cold. He seems to think that his vehicle is not regenerating as much power as it used to. Now, I've never checked mine in the summer. I mean, I've watched it uh, here and there, what it is getting, but I never took notes. I don't remember on what braking level what we were getting for energy. So today, we're going to burn off, uh, you know, a quarter of the electric energy that we have, and then we're just going to do some tests. Get the car up to 80 kilometers an hour and put it in a few different braking modes and just see on the energy monitor what uh, amount of energy is going back into the batteries. I won't be able to compare that to anything until the spring when I can do my car again, but maybe you guys in different climates, different temperatures right now could uh, post down below what you're getting, you know, say on the plus side of things. Like I said, today we're uh, almost minus 30 with the wind, so minus 20 without the wind, that's degrees Celsius. Minus 21, according to the uh, thermometer in the car. And then with the wind chill, they were stating minus 30, so... Just going to burn off some electricity so we have room in the batteries to put more in. Started out this morning and the gasometer was showing 22 kilometers. So that seems to be about what I'm getting, 22, 25. Um, with running the heat and really cold, I'm probably getting a little bit better than that. But uh, the gasometer is always saying around 22, 25. Okay, so we've used four blocks off the electric battery here according to our diagram. We're going to be doing 90 kilometers, and I'm going to put it on the energy monitor. Okay, B1. Somewhere around 5 kilowatt hours. It's hard to say, you're just guessing. There's B2. We're almost at 15. Okay, here's B3. kilometers and here's B4 just going by what I remember the car getting that seems about the same to me in uh, in warmer weather uh, but you guys let me know down below what you're getting in your PHEV okay so we have come 24 kilometers right there and uh, that's with full heat on this morning guys Doing a road test on the highway, 90 kilometer speeds, minus 21 degrees Celsius, in full comfort, and we're still getting 24 kilometers. Uh, the battery is actually impressing me. We're in the downtown core right now, so the temperature looks like it's come up, but uh, really, it hasn't. <laughs> it's cold out there. So, you know what? I'm, I've still got a bit of energy in the batteries. The engine hasn't started yet, so it's gonna be around 25 kilometers. And that is not bad at all. I'm actually surprised at how well the batteries are doing in the car in the extreme cold. Okay, in the final update of the trip, we've come another uh, 12 kilometers on the gasoline engine. And I just wanted to show you guys consumption. 4 liters per 100 kilometers, and that's including um, letting the vehicle start and warm up and go through the whole uh, ice uh, combustion starting and heating cycle and all of that so that's what we're getting in the extreme cold so running the uh, vehicle in cold weather letting it do a full start up with the combustion engine go through its cycle so that you get heat and all that warmth and then uh, running another 12 kilometers uh, we're going about the same distance that we would normally get in the summer so 40 kilometers we would get that for free on electric in these cold conditions, it's probably costing me a liter uh, to a liter and a half of fuel. So that's cold winter driving right there. Not horrible. I mean, we still did 70%, 72% uh, of this morning's driving on electric. 